All right, everyone, it's time for science news. This one is rather exciting. Link the description, archive, of course. If you've heard of Jason and the Argonauts, you've heard of the Golden Fleece. They can make Golden Fleece. The connective tissues that emerge from certain uh, mollusk life forms, like clams and shit, uh, and they've uh, identified at least one additional species that isn't endangered to do this with, uh, can actually be treated first by cleaning them off, just in seawater, then you wash them with cold, fresh water, and then you treat them with lemon juice. They turn into a very, very fine golden fiber that is very, very tough, but also very, very light. And uh, as one researcher put it, if you had a glove made out of this material, you wouldn't even feel it. It's that fine. Um, so they've, they've actually created, like, basically the golden fleece in Korea, which is hysterical and great. Um, it used to be that the connective tissues, you know, you just sort of scrape it off. And they're only after the clam. They're only after the, the mollusk itself. They're after the meat. But uh, this connective tissue could be a huge boon. Uh, it could be, you know, uh, put through this very specific and very easy process and turned into this material that I have a feeling that celebrities are going to be wearing fairly soon. Again, take the link in the description and see a picture of it for yourself. It looks like a pile of gold thread more than anything else. Apparently is very soft, very ductile as well. So uh, you've got, you know, it's, it's going to hold together, but at the same time, it's going to be like, you know, pleasurous, uh, pleasurable to actually wear it. And I mean, you're wearing, you know, the dead appendages of clams, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it sounds like a good idea to me. Maybe I should get a gold glove like that. Uh, Michael Jackson would have wanted one back in the day. <laughs> That's for sure. Mm. You're wearing mollusks on your hand. That would have been funny. So yeah, there's your science news of the day. This is interesting. As we march on through the technological age, especially now that AI is spurring things on, we're seeing a bunch of redevelopments. Uh, like, for instance, the uh, purple dye that the ancients wore uh, as a sign of nobility. That's effectively been reverse engineered at this time. It involves smashed up snails and piss, so it's not necessarily going to be the least fragrant thing in the world. The fragrance was, by the way, how you knew that the Tyrian purple was actually real. Uh, apparently, according to the handful of accounts from antiquity the smell was really how you told whether it was real or not also i think it was illegal for plebeians actually to wear purple for some time depending on their their rank in society with sea silk this is something that approximates probably roughly what you know led to jason and the argonauts story basically um, because it does look a lot like fleece. I mean, if you look at that picture in the uh, in the link uh, in in the description, it does look a lot like fleece. Honestly, it's basically golden colored sea moss more than anything else. Although it's not a moss, it's it's the connective fibers from uh, shellfish. But there's no reason to waste it. And this is an example of true environmentalism. You're taking a component from something that you're harvesting. And instead of wasting it, just throwing it back in the water or in the trash or something, you're finding another use for it and preserving it and turning it into something new. This is the way that things should be done. It's like when people butcher off an animal. Those organs are edible. I mean, you probably don't want to eat the intestines, it's depending on the species, but it is perfectly fine to eat most of the other organ meat. Uh, it can be processed, and it can be utilized by humans. The skin, you know, you, you, you want to keep that, obviously. That can be preserved. You know, you can use acorns for tannin to preserve skins, soften them out with a rock, literally. Um, it's not that difficult to process. I haven't done it myself, but in theory, I know how to do it. Uh, and then you can wear the pelt 
and then make a YouTube live stream where you just sit there eating bacon. You eat the uh, meat of the animal wearing skin and staring into the camera. This is an old joke, by the way. Most of you, I don't think, remember it. It's on 4chan. It involved the red heifer prophecy. They were saying somebody should slaughter the red heifer and then wear its dripping skin while eating its meat. Uh, on camera and then staring into the camera. Uh, never mind. Uh, it's my kind of bizarre sense of humor. But sea silk uh, seems very intriguing. I'm thinking because of its ductile qualities, apparently, and because it's attractive, it's probably going to mainly be used for luxury goods. I don't think that this is going to enter into the standard market. So you'll have to uh, save up for your uh, your sea glove or something like that. I would like to uh, wear some sea silk. It's uh, pretty cool, actually, when you think about it. Just treating it with lemon juice after cleaning it and turning it into a golden sheen. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. And lemons are not hard to acquire, so thinking maybe I need to make my own sea cell. They'll have to build machines in order to manufacture it into anything particularly useful. Uh, I'm assuming that if you piled it into you know, a pre-existing machine with similar uh, specifications, you could probably weave it together into a scarf at least or something like that. Maybe Katy Perry will wear it to the next Grammy Awards. That's about all. Peace out.